Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. I decided to come out to the flea market today. I'm not sure how many vendors are going to be out here, but we're going to try and see because it's supposed to be pretty nice. So let's do it. Hey. This is all different stuff. You've never seen any of this. Okay, great. I haven't been out here in a little while, so. <laughs> For you. Yeah, if you don't mind. <coughs> I'll grab that one too. You got quite a few jerseys today. I like yeah. to see that. <laughs> As much on the other side. Great. Kobe. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right, I'll grab that one too. Let me check out the stuff over here. Get all that added up. I got a hat too. It's two dollars on that one. How much I got you? Fifty. Fifty-one dollars. Just give me fifty. Fifty. Cool. Sounds good. All right. I'm good with that. Thank you, man. All right. Thank you. I'll see you next time. <laughs> that's got enough bag for you. Oh yeah, that's big enough. I did see that one. Yeah.
right, Bob. What do you want for your hat? Dollar. I'll take it. Feels like it it's might wool. Be wool. It's, it's wool. wool yeah. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Toys here. Got some Masters of the Universe. Masters of the Universe. Batman. I don't know who he is. Good. What are you asking on the toys? Uh, those belong to my son. Okay. Now, see, what'd you say on these little figures? Two dollars fees? Yeah. What are you asking on the turtles? Five apiece. You like action figures? How much on the sweatshirt? I'll go ahead and do a 15 then. Yeah, that's cool. That's a cool one as well. What about on Pete? I'll take eight for that. I'll take five if you want it. It's an older one. Yeah. I'll do that. I'll put us 20 even. I'll do that. It's fine. All right, my GoPro died right there, but I just got a really nice deal I need to show you guys. Check this score out right here. Look at this. It's a Harley Davidson leather jacket, and it is in pretty good shape. It has the light armor on it. It's the FXRG, paid 25 bucks for it. I don't know what it's worth, but 25 bucks for a leather Harley jacket. Sheesh, that is what we like to see out here. Nice score. All right, so I did one more round of the flea market. Didn't see anything else that I wanted to grab. So, so I'm gonna drop this stuff off at my car right now. I'm gonna go check out the auction area real fast to see if there's anything I wanna stay around for. If there is, I'll go eat lunch, come back for that. If not, I'll take you home and show you what I got. But hopefully there's stuff at the auction. All right, let's see what they got up for auction today. Some cool Metro hats, those are cool. Cleveland City employee. That's a cool little tea set right there. I like those colors a lot. Eight out of 75. That is interesting. I like that. Some Pyrex. Couple of water filters drop. Those usually go for like 20, 25 bucks. Two of them. What was that? Pentax K1000. That is a good one right there. Keep an eye on that one.
Look at that. G.I. Joe Sky Striker. That's in rough shape though. Don't get any of the parts. Still cool to see. All right, so that auction actually has quite a few things that I might be interested in. So I think I'm going to go eat lunch, then come back for the auction and hopefully win a few of those because I got my eye on a few pieces. All right, here's the first set of stuff that I ended up getting. I got both of those pure water filters, which, you know, were like 20 bucks a piece. I only got them for a buck a piece. Uh, I got that whole set of those really cool, like modern teacup set. I just thought those were really neat. Don't know what it's worth, but I paid like, I think I paid like three bucks for the whole set basket just so I could carry stuff in. Then I ended up getting that whole lot or that big box of stuff that had the K1000 in it for five bucks. Obviously that needs cleaned up, but a K1000 for five bucks is an absolute steal. I also got some more stuff over on the table. And then here's the other stuff I got. I got the two Metro hats and all that. Actually, I got this whole lot like from this table all the way down to here. I got it all for three bucks. So I figured it's probably a good deal. These hats by themselves are gonna sell for more than that. The Metro hats, these kind of things are a little bit cool. I didn't really, you know, want them, but hey, they came in a lot. And I also got a mystery bag full of random stuff. Looks like railroad memorabilia. I have to look through all that, but that's the rest of what I got. I'll go through it all more in depth when I get home. So the auction ended up going pretty well. I ended up paying a total of $16 for everything I got at the auction. I just went inside and settled it up. So that was an awesome, awesome little reason to stay. I got some good items in there. That means that K1000 by itself is like a hundred bucks if I can get it to work. But now though, I'm gonna go ahead and head home. I will show you guys what I got here in just a second. All right, it's been a couple days, but I'm gonna take you through everything that I ended up getting at the flea market. Overall, I think I did pretty good, especially considering it was our first time back out at the flea market this year. I haven't looked up any of the stuff that I got yet, so I will pop up comps as I show you them, but I think we did pretty dang good. And I think we'll start out with what I believe is the best item, a Harley Davidson leather jacket. I only paid 25 bucks for this one. It is the FXRG model number. It has like the soft armor in it. And this does need a little bit of cleaning. You know, I gotta wipe it down, get it looking good. But this should be a very, very nice score. And next I got a couple of hats. I got an Indiana Pacers one. This is the 50th anniversary, paid $2 for this one. And then I got this really cool Cincinnati Reds wool cap. It is a pretty old one, as you can tell by the tag and just the quality of it in general. I don't really know the age of it or what it's worth, but I wasn't going to leave it sitting there for a buck. And then we've got this men's button front LL Bean signature chamois shirt. These always do well. And then check out this piece. This thing is awesome. Look at that huge Nike swoosh across the chest. It's a men's sweatshirt, brand new with tags. I think I think I would call that a center check, wouldn't you? We all know center check stuff is super hot right now. Brand new with tags, MSRP, 80 bucks right there, but I think I can probably get around that for this because Nike stuff is super hot right now, especially with the huge logo on the chest. That's an awesome score. And then I believe the rest of the clothing that I got was all from the same vendor. And this guy I buy from all the time, so we have a pretty good rapport with one another. And I got a decent amount today. First up, we got a North Face rain jacket for $4. A Reebok Indianapolis Colts Peyton Manning jersey for 5 bucks. Reebok Saturday jersey for 3 a stitched Nike Luck jersey for five. This one here was a little different. The number pattern looked a little different, so I thought it might be like more of a little special edition jersey, but it's a Chancellor Seahawks jersey. Got this one for eight. And then for $4, we got a stitched Nike Vinatieri. Is that how you say that? Vinatieri jersey? Another stitched Nike Luck jersey. This one I paid $10 for because it is brand new with the tags. Nice. Here's the only baseball jersey I got, a Red Sox Fryman the Third baseball jersey. Paid $3 for that one. And yet another Luck jersey for $4. Again, Nike stitched. A Reebok on field Kali jersey. Only paid a buck for that one. And then the final piece for $2, the only basketball jersey that I picked up, an Adidas Kobe Lakers jersey. Again, $2 on that. And then I actually had one more piece of clothing that I forgot about. For $10, I picked up this Bulwark Fire Resistant Nomex 3A uh, little vest right here. It is brand new with tags. Again, paid 10 bucks for it. And I think I looked up comps on this and it was going for, I think, around 50 if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong on that, but I've popped it up for you, so. And now for the stuff that I got at the auction. I only ended up paying $16 total for everything I got at the auction. And 
I got some pretty decent stuff. The best of which was definitely this guy right here, the Pentax K1000. It is in a little bit of dusty shape, but I did open it up, tested all the functionality, and it looks like it's working pretty well. I am so glad that I saw this in that box. It was just in a random box full of stuff. I must have been the only one who went for it because nobody else bid on this. I ended up getting like the whole box of stuff for like five bucks on this guy absolutely insane. However, the rest of the stuff in that box ended up being pretty much all junk. However, I did get two little baskets that I'm going to keep for around the house. And then I ended up getting two of these pure water filters. Water filters sell very, very well, so at a buck a piece, I knew I wasn't going wrong. I also ended up winning that tea set that I just thought had a really, really cool look to it. It had the teapot itself, which I thought I saw going for around 30 bucks by itself over on eBay. Plus, it also had the six cups that came with the tea set. I couldn't find any comps on the full set when I was looking, but maybe I will in my research. If I did, you'll have seen it popped up on the screen. And then the final lot of stuff that I bought was basically me buying half a table full of stuff. Basically, he went through and asked if anybody wanted everything for, you know, five bucks, three bucks, all the way down to a dollar. Nobody wanted it. And I ended up picking up the entire rest of the table for three dollars. And this is what was on it. I ended up getting two of these really cool old school train conductor hats. They're for the Metro train. They're basically the reason that I bought the lot because these will go for more than three bucks a piece by themselves. And then there were a couple more hats. This is a Wisconsin Central Transportation Coalition hat. And then there's this one, which is kind of cool. It's like old school. It's got the corded uh, panel look to it. But look at the closure on this. It's got like a zipper adjustable strap closure. I've never seen that before. So that's kind of unique. On top of the hats, there was also this bag full of just a ton of different kinds of railroad uh, ephemera. There's little buttons and pins and coasters and all kinds of stuff. I know some railroad stuff can have some very good value to collectors, so I'm definitely going to have to go through this and see if there's anything in there worth keeping. Also in that lot was this little uh, stone, I think it's like alabaster trinket box. It's made of pure stone, just thought that was kind of cool, so I set that one aside. And then the only other things I set aside were some of these little old hand-painted, they look like they were uh, Mexican pottery uh, pieces, like this one right here. It's a little frog, a duck, I want to call that one an owl, a whale, a dove, and a cute kind of creepy pumpkin. There were also a couple more, but they were full of chips and marks or missing pieces and stuff like that. So I just pulled the ones that were in good condition. I'm going to lot them up and see how they do. And that's it. That's everything that I ended up getting at the flea market. Not bad for the first stop of the year. There weren't a ton of vendors out, so I am completely happy with the amount of stuff I got. I got some solid items, and I should do really, really well on them. And I gotta say, if this is any kind of forecast to how this summer is going to go when it comes to flea markets and yard sales, it seems like it's going to do pretty dang well. So if you want to see more content like this, make sure you go down low, smash that like button for me, and subscribe to my channel because I will be putting out more content like this all throughout the summer. So I hope that you guys all enjoyed this one. If you did, leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite piece was or you know that you just like seeing the video. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. So till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.